Good morning. My name is Jonathan Pangburn, Fire Behavior Analyst on the Mosquito Incident. Today is Friday, September 16th. I want to start off with a bit of a weather update. Not much has changed. It's generally winds coming out of the southwest, moving toward the northeast. We are seeing a little bit warmer and a little bit drier air today. Starting tomorrow, though, in advance of a new weather system coming in, the winds are going to be significantly stronger. Still out of the southwest, pushing to the northeast. However, they will be about 10 miles per hour sustained and gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range on the ridges. Following that, late Saturday night and into Sunday, we do have some moisture coming to the area. The precipitation or rain amounts, uh, the National Weather Service has forecasted 80% chance of an inch or more, but that is over the entire duration. That is not a one-time event. So over the course of greater than 72 hours, looking at that rainfall coming down as a little bit of showers and then stopping, a little bit of showers and stopping. What that means for the fire and the fire behavior, today we'll expect to see very similar to the last few days where this central portion of the fire on the east near say Ramsey Crossing and the middle fork of the American River, we will continue to see uh, some growth out there where the very dry fuels continue to chunk away and move uh, upslope, up canyon toward the east. Smoke will dramatically influence the fire up in the northeastern area as the wind pushes that smoke over it. It will subdue some of that fire activity and give firefighters a chance to put in more control lines in that area. Tomorrow, however, with those winds in advance of the system, we can expect to see any of these areas where it aligns with ridges. We can definitely see a possibility of some fire growth as well as spot fires in advance of the leading fire with gusts at 20 to 25 miles per hour. However, leading into the moisture over the next few days then, the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday timeframe, it will help the firefighting efforts in terms of subduing the fire behavior and giving our firefighters a chance to come in and bring control lines as close as possible to the fire. But I do want to emphasize this is a slowing event, certainly not a stopping event. This is not enough moisture to extinguish the fire. We have highly volatile fuels and the very large stumps and tree debris that is on the ground is too large to be impacted by this amount of rain over such a short amount of time. So I want to emphasize that there will be difficulty for control in a lot of these areas. These are extraordinarily steep drainages, both the Middle Fork of the American River, 